Welcome back, my name is Ron, and today I'm going to help you get some results. So, for the first time, obviously I'm, you know, filming in a different location, so um, hope you can hear me all, all right. And so, if you like the content I'm creating, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And this is part four of how to heal yourself, and this is how to remove regret. You see, throughout our whole lives, you know, we have many instances where maybe we knew we should have acted or we wanted to act and we didn't. And that's almost always because of fear. Fear of being judged, fear of looking stupid, fear of rejection, fear of failure. You know, whichever way you want to look at it, it all boils down to the same thing. Fear. And so, you see, regrets are a lifelong pain. See, many, many times throughout my life, and I'm sure you can like look back at your own, there are many instances when you were afraid to do something and you did it. And whether it worked out or not, you're like, well, oh well, I tried and it didn't work. Oh well, didn't, you know, life goes on. But it's those ones where I really want to do that. Oh, but what if this? What if that? What if another thing? What if... What if history repeats itself, you know, um, what if I'm, you know, laughed at, what if I look stupid, what if, you know, the what ifs can go forever, and, you know, and then it, it's not like you walk away and be like, oh, the, oh, well, whatever, yeah, you might say that for a second, and then it's like, man, what would have happened if I actually had had the courage to do something, what if I had swallowed my pride and did it, what if I had done this, and then the, the reverse of the what ifs, you know, it's like, what if, what if it had succeeded? What if it wasn't a no, it was actually a yes. You see, the regrets are the ones that are going to stick with you. You try and fail, life goes on. At least you tried. And, you know, that's what's going to haunt you. It isn't the failures. Failures aren't going to haunt you. It's the regrets. Those are going to haunt you. Those will haunt you for decades. So, what do you do... So if you've gotten to the farthest point, you know, you've done, number one, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to heal yourself? Number two, reprogram yourself. If you don't do that, you might as well just turn this video off right now. Go back and look at the other ones because you ain't got a chance. Let's just be honest. I'm going to give it to you straight out. You ain't got a chance if you don't reprogram yourself. The rest of this stuff is, you know, you know, icing on the cake. But if that cake, cake already sucks, you ain't got a hope in hell that this is going to work. So, go back, reprogram yourself. You know, you've got to. But if you've already done that number, you know, and you've gotten past that point, and um, number three, you're starting to take physical action because you need to wire in those experiences. The ego is going to latch on to physical experiences. It isn't going to latch on to, like, you know, this stuff, like, oh, man, I should have done that. I should have done this. I should. It don't give a damn about that. I should have done nothing. It's going to care about your physical experiences it's going to actually attach to the meaning you give it. So, you've done that, you've done the physical stuff, you've done all of those steps, and now you're like, you're going on, but there are some painful memories in your head that really are bugging the crap out of you. What do you do? I didn't know. I didn't know either. I guessed. I, I just suffered through it. Maybe, you know, maybe like, you know, if I suffer through it long enough, it'll go away. Uh-uh. <laughs> Bull crap. It ain't going to go nowhere. It's going to sit there and haunt you is what it's going to do. So, what do, you, what do you do? You use what I found worked the best for me. Use the Hawaiian healing technique. Hopo, Hono, Hono, I think it's called. Um, and it's very simple. Four lines. It takes a minute. A freaking minute. Ten years of... Regret can be healed in a minute if you use it. First off, remember the regret. Remember it as you remember it. And then say, I'm sorry. You say it in your head, you can say it out loud, it doesn't matter. You say, I'm sorry. And what worked for me was, especially if it's like something you really regret, you can use this also for people, things that people have done to you. That wasn't really your fault, but you can still use the same thing. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. 
Now, when you say you're sorry, you're taking ownership of it. And if you've not seen Will Smith's video about blame versus responsibility, this is not blame. This is responsibility because you need to be responsible or you have no power. Let me say it. You need to be responsible. It's my fault for being in that situation. It's my fault or responsibility. It doesn't matter which term you use. I use fault. It doesn't matter to me for even being there in the first place. It's my responsibility that I was allowing someone to do this to me. Or it was my responsibility that I didn't act when I wanted to. It was my responsibility that the pain that came after was my pain. And once you do that, you own it. Then, please forgive me. In a way, you're talking to yourself. Ron, Please forgive me for not having, the, you know, not having the courage to act at that moment. Thank you, because it's forgiven. Ron, please forgive me. He says, I forgive you. Thank you, Ron. I forgive myself for not acting. Last part is, I love you. Why? Well, because love is like the strongest emotion there is, by far. It's the top emotion when it comes to, you know, your general state of being. Love washes all of the other crap away. So, you know, talk to yourself, I love you, and you get it back too. You can imagine all of this stuff, I love you. And what does this actually do, though? You see, the crazy part about this is that in some way in your head, it, it, like, it washes away almost like your sins. It washes away that instance that you failed, that you regret, that someone did something to you and you hold a grudge. And you, can, you use this multiple times. I literally had, a, had a, a regret that was beating the crap out of me for a year. I mean, every day, it seemed like all day, it was always in the back of my mind just like, I should have acted when I thought when I knew I should have. Why didn't I do it? You know, why didn't I act when I knew I should have? Why didn't I act because I wanted to act? I was so afraid. Why didn't I act? And it just ate me alive. And it's like I did this four times, which took like three minutes. And all of a sudden it was just like when I did think about it, it wasn't it was nothing compared to what it was. So you can use this to target all of the regrets. One by one by one, target everything. Write a list out. What are your biggest regrets? Start there. Start with the big ones. Then go one to another to another to another. I mean, you don't have to tell anyone you're doing this. You do it for yourself. You know, let's wash away 20 years of regret in five minutes. Like, there's people out there in therapy right now paying tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars for, for, for basically for this, what this will give you in five minutes. And, and you're going to get it for free. You ain't, you ain't going to pay a penny. This is how easy it is. They're out there paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for, for the, the, the peace of mind that you can have in five minutes without having to tell a living soul you're doing it. You know, how much better of a deal could you get? You give nothing but a couple minutes of your time, and you get massive peace of mind. It's, it's incredible. So, this is part four of how to heal yourself. Target the regrets. Target those lingering memories that are plaguing you. And then watch, watch, watch them. Just kind of wash, the, the charges wash away. This really changed it all for me. It was so amazing. You know, beating myself up night and day over regret. And it's just like, now it's just like, it's like, oh, okay. I forgave myself. Literally in four minutes, I forgave myself what I punished myself for a year for. I mean, and there's many of you out there who are punishing yourself for a lot more than a year over these regrets. It could be deep-seated regrets. Like, you weren't there when your, like, parents died. Maybe they called for you. I mean, I had that one too. You know, I had a, a godfather who asked specifically to see me right before I knew he was going to die. And, and, I, and, I, and I didn't bring myself to do it because I didn't want to see him in that, that weakened state. And then a couple of days he died, 
and the last thing he had asked for was to see me. It, it ate me alive. I regretted for 10 years that. And with this, it really got healed that up. In minutes, it can do it. So there's no reason for you to live with pain. It can heal all of that. So as long as you use this, remember, it takes, think of, a, think of your regret. Whether it was because you failed or you had, didn't incur, it doesn't matter the reasons. Whether it was because of yourself or because someone did something to you. Think of it, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. Do it over and over and over again until it works. And you'll notice it works. So, i got more videos coming out, and I will see you on the next one. Go and like, comment, and subscribe. And um, if you want a specific video, go ahead and comment it down below. As always, I will see you on the next one, and have a great day.